everybody, Rob Goody here, the MLM Solution. I hope you're having a great day. Today is Tuesday, July 6th, currently 10.56 and 32 seconds Eastern Standard Time. And I hope that you will join us at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as we always go live Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you will, <clears throat> share our podcast, our platforms, uh, other social media platforms, our website, etc., with our fellow network marketers all across the globe. You can certainly do that very easily by simply sharing our hashtag, which is hashtag the MLM solution. That's hashtag the MLM solution. Uh, share the, our platforms, our information, our website, our products, etc., with our fellow network marketers so they can get access to this great information as well that you're privileged to be access to. With that being said, you can be a part of the positive process that that sharing can start by simply hitting the like button on our website, our share button. Uh, all those things help us reach our fellow network marketers. We want them to utilize this great business model to do amazing things for themselves and their people and their families in that the way you can help them do that is by sharing our hashtag and our website and our social media platforms. We want to say thank you in advance for doing that. All right. With that being said, today's topic is going to be a good one about elevating and evaluating your business, your business building activity. Uh, what we're going to be talking about here is something that Solon talked about, and it's something that is very important. As you're building your business, you have to have the ability to evaluate yourself and elevate your business building activity if necessary. We're going to be talking about that and much more in today's episode. Don't miss it. All right. With that being said, I'm going to hop off here 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, we go live on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. We'll see you very shortly. Welcome to the MLM Solution Podcast Show, where you'll learn the facts and hear the truth about the network marketing industry. Here's your host, Rob Cootie and Marie Cannon. Hello there, Miss Marie. How are you Good doing on this fine morning. Tuesday morning? I am doing well. I'm looking forward to having some tacos today. I think it's a Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. I love tacos. I love Mexican food. Right? Tacos are probably my favorite, but uh, I like and all the and the margaritas that go along with it. That's uh, you know me and margaritas. Yes, I agree with that one hundred percent. I like a Taco Tuesday. Hey, you got me hungry already. All right. With that being said, uh, today elevating. I should put elevating and evaluating your business building activity uh, because there is a time where you're going to have to sit down and self evaluate. Hopefully, you have somebody that will evaluate your business for you. We've talked about that in past episodes, so we're not going to get into that too much. We're obviously going to take a look into it, but we're going to take a deeper dive into the elevating your business building activity when it is warranted. Miss um, Marie, as you know, sometimes you can get caught, with your, get caught with your pants down during the business building activity, thinking that you're working hard, and all of a sudden, you log into your back office, and lo and behold, uh, reality smacks you in the face, and you're like, oh, crap. I'm leaving a lot of money on the table. I have got to get my butt in gear. And you're already working your tail end off. We're going to be talking about how you can become more efficient, more proficient, and actually maximize that opportunity without killing yourself. <laughs> okay. Well, absolutely. And that, that's a tricky thing that I think a lot of people get caught up in oftentimes. And it's easy to do if you're transitioning into being in business for yourself for the first time, if you're, if you're used to being in the role of an employee, oftentimes your, your tasks and the results that you're supposed to get for them are dictated to you. When yeah. it comes time to owning your own business, which we always, you know, we focus on that with your network marketing opportunity, you are a business owner, you are building your own business. 
oftentimes people are a little bit like fish out of water, right? Yeah, They're yeah. not exactly sure what they should be doing, how to be the most efficient and effective. Yeah. And a lot of people get caught up in activities and being busy and feeling like they're filling their time and they're feeling productive perhaps but as you alluded to once you go into the back office and you actually look at it the results being generated from the activity that you're doing don't really have you on track for the level of success that you're after that's right and that's that's where things start getting a little sticky yeah yeah we're going to be talking about that uh before we get started <clears throat> Please give us a thumbs up if you like what you hear, you understand the points we're making, and you see where these points can help you. We love immediate feedback. When you give us a thumbs up, uh, when you give us a like, when you give us a comment and all that, guess what? It's immediate feedback, and we love it. Uh, and as I just said, if you are at one of our social media platforms, please hit the share button, the like button, leave a comment. It helps us with the algorithm, and that algorithm helps us get this information out in front of more network marketers across the globe. We want to say thank you in advance. I know that you guys have been doing that. I see it, but we always like to bring it up every once in a while, right, Ms. Marie, so that people don't forget. It's a team effort. We need your help. We're doing our part, and uh, we need your help because it's a, it's a two-person operation, if you will. I was putting it out, and you hitting the share button, the like button, the comment, all that. All right. So with that being said, Miss Marie, uh, before we get started, I'm going to talk about our What Not To Do product. As you know, Miss Marie, this is one of our, our famous products that we have, and uh, it's one of our core products, one of the things that actually help people get from point A to point B. How is that? Because it's chock full of 146 paragraphs, 146 paragraphs on 146 pages. It just happened to work out that way. And this information can help you become a focused business building machine because you're going to know exactly what to do in network marketing. And more importantly, you're going to know what not to do in network marketing because each and every paragraph is written with a format of what to do and what not to do. You will not find that anyplace else. This is one of the kind of reference material that's good today, tomorrow, and in, well, let's say 20 years down the uh, road. Why? Because this is basic information. The truth never changes. The basics never change. So you can count on this information and it can be reference information. How powerful is that? You're going to get, if you purchase this today for only $47, not only are you going to save $150 immediately, but you're also going to get a bunch of bonuses, surprise bonuses that are worth hundreds, hundreds, and multiple hundreds of dollars. Once again, 146 paragraphs, 146 audio files. Each one of those audio files address each and every paragraph in the book, takes the knowledge level to a higher level. And you complement that with the training videos, you have an unbeatable combination. Look, it's a bargain at $197 right now for the next 24 hours, only $47. As you can see, the URL is right there. And for all of you on the podcast, it is WNTDINNM. It stands for, if you just abbreviate what not to do in the word in, I-N, networkmarketing.net. It's W-N-T-D. The word I-N, and then the letters N and M, dot net. What not to do in networkmarketing.net. Well, that was a mouthful, Miss Marie. <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if we have any subscribers in New Mexico that looked at that and said, what not to do in New Mexico? Mexico. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that. I don't want people to get that. <laughs> hey, if you're in New Mexico and you thought that, drop us a line. I'm really curious. I want to yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and kudos to you for thinking that. <laughs> Tell us, yeah, we would be not only impressed, but surprised as well. All right, with that being said, we're gonna get started on our subject matter. <clears throat> and uh, it is elevating and evaluating, or evaluating and elevating, however you wanna say it, uh, your business building activity. Okay, so uh, with the subject matter, what, basically what it's saying is, is that you're already into your 90 day mini blast. <clears throat> you're working your way towards your 90 day goals, okay? And uh, some of your leaders are starting to pop up during that process. and 
you catch lightning in a bottle. And we talk about that a lot. And we also talk about success a lot. And typically when Miss Marie and I are talking about success on the show, we're talking about, <clears throat> I won't say middle of the road. We're well, I guess so. Middle of the road to high level success. But there are times when you catch lightning in a bottle and you wake up one day and you're like, oh, crap. <laughs> this thing has taken off and it will scare you to death because your mind will immediately start racing. You'll be like, what do I do? Because when things are calm, Miss Marie, it's easy to say the five simple steps. Step one, step two, step three, four, five. Okay. You know what to do. You do it. Things are calm. You're, you're, you're putting in the hours every day. And then one day you wake up and you go from 5,000 group volume to 25,000. And you're just like, oh, my gosh. And you've got people contact. Your email box is full. I need a live event. I need a Zoom call. I need a conference call. And you've got 40-something requests. <clears throat> I want a live event in uh, Columbus, Ohio. I want a live event in uh, uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas. I want a Zoom call tomorrow. You see what I'm saying, Miss Marie? <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and it almost makes you want to quit. You're just like, you're dumbfounded. You, you're just, you don't know what to do. It's what you wanted. But all of a sudden, it happened overnight, literally, because it does happen overnight. And the next thing you know, Miss Marie, you have no clue. The five simple steps are thrown out the window because they produce this mess you're now staring at in your back office. And uh, you're saying to yourself, what do I do? Well, this is where evaluation becomes important. Miss Marie and I have talked about it in past episodes. We, I think we even did an episode on it. But here's the thing. you got to have somebody that knows what they're doing, like Miss Marie or I. And if you don't, you can contact Miss Maria. Right? But here's the thing: you got to have somebody that knows what they're doing to look at your business, okay? And you say, Rob, why do you why do you say that? Because not everybody deserves your attention at this particular moment, right, Miss Marie? Because it, not everybody's creating that twenty five thousand uh, point explosion overnight, okay? There's typically what we tell you all the time: three to five people, right, Miss Marie? They create 95% of that 25,000 point explosion overnight. Okay. That is what you do. You have to back up. Now, Miss Marie and I would log in where you're like, wow, that's really cool. And we immediately start looking for what? The three to five people. Where did that, where did 90, 95% of that volume come from? What did, why are we doing that? Because we know we need to be controlled. We need to be calm. We need to be focused. But we also know how the business works, which means, hey, there's three or five people creating most of this volume. Now, they may surprise us. There may be seven or eight, but that's okay. We don't care. That's actually a bonus, but we know what to look for, right, Miss Marie? We don't look at the 42 people that contact us, okay? <laughs> because some of those people, Miss Marie, went from 75 PV per month to probably five or 600, and to them, that's a lot, but to you and I, it's like, okay, they can wait a little bit. I've got these big shots over here that went from a thousand to nine thousand overnight. I got to focus on this person, right, Miss Marie? Yep. Well, and and again, that's all about looking in your back office and identifying your leaders. Again, there are episodes we have out there going that's into right. more detail on those topics as well. That's right. And we in those uh, topics we talked about how to identify and work with leaders, and we tell you the same story all the time, guys. Your back office tells you a story. You have to know how to read that book, right, Miss Marie? It tells you a story. And I just told you what it was telling you. You've got three to five people, maybe seven or eight, that are creating 90 to 95% of that volume, that volume explosion that happened overnight, okay? So what you say, okay, what are you doing here, Rob? You're evaluating, okay? And what you're doing is you're focusing in on the people that are creating 90 to 95%. doesn't mean that you're ignoring the other people. It's not what we're saying. What we're saying is you got to get with the people right away that are creating the most of volume because Miss Marie, more times than not, you're sponsoring people that are new to the industry. You've taught them the five simple steps. They're go-getters, five and above on the scale of ambition. They follow the five simple steps and all of a sudden overnight and they're shocked. They're waking up totally shocked, aren't they, Miss Marie? They went from 1,000 to 9,000 and they're just like dumbfounded. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. They don't know who to contact. 
they're like, what am I supposed to do? This is what we're supposed. This is what was supposed to happen, but they didn't tell me what to do when it happens. That's the reason why we're doing today's episode. <laughs> so, what you're doing, guys, you're going to have somebody that's that's smarter than you, and I mean, I don't mean intellectually. I mean somebody that has the experience and knowledge, been through it before. So they're smarter than you in this instance because they know what to do. They've been down this road before, and they're going to say, "Okay, this is what you're going to do. You're going to focus on these." three to five people or this uh, seven or eight people. Okay. And you're going to contact them right away and you're going to have a call with them individually, not together. This is an individual thing, but you're going to email them right away or text them right away. Hey, I see that your volume exploded our night. I get it. I'm on top of it. <clears throat> um, I have, there's three or four other people that have happened to them as well. Uh, I'm on the phone with them right now. I'll get with you in a little bit, right? Miss Marine, you're going to send that out to all seven or eight, three to five people, whatever the case may be. You want them to know that you're on top of it, that you see it, you get it, and then you know in your heart, you're not going to say it today, I'm on the text or the phone message, whatever you choose to do. Uh, you're not going to say that to them. You're saying that to yourself. Hey, okay, uh, they're overwhelmed. They don't know what to do, but you're going to let them know, hey, I'm going to be getting with you. We'll talk about a game plan. Uh, you got things rocking. Uh, there, it's a different game from here on out, and they're going to be waiting for that call because they realize, oh, my gosh, this is a different game. Because Miss Maria does, it blows people out of the water. <clears throat> they lose focus of the fact they gotta still do the five simple steps. <laughs> they, they don't get they don't get refocused and they don't understand what the process is from here on out. Because to them, it's almost like an end game. Well, this is what I wanted, and now I've got it. What do I do now? <clears throat> so you have somebody like Miss Marie who's gonna evaluate your business. She's gonna say, Okay, Rob, what's going on? And then I tell her, Hey, you know what? I was doing um, in in uh, June, last week of June, I was doing 925 PV group volume, and uh, I wake up here on the the 6th of July, and I've got 9,000 group volume, okay? <laughs> and they don't know what to do. Miss Murray, I don't know, where did that come from? How do I how do I handle this? What do I do here? And so Miss Murray's going to evaluate it. And in that large jump is going to tell Miss Marie either they sponsored somebody in their downline that sponsored a big shot somewhere and they brought in, you know, 2,000 people, right, Miss Marie? And it caused that 9,000 group volume explosion, right? Mm -hmm. Or they had a couple of people come in that had medium sized businesses, okay? Uh, it is rarely because all of a sudden your business caught fire. Uh, especially if you have a business that's small to medium size, right, Miss Marie? You don't typically have four people, five people that wake up one night and go, oh, I get it now. And overnight, over five, six days, they build a 9,000 point improvement. <laughs> it's usually because something spectacular, unusual happened, which means somebody came in from another company with a large group of people, right, Miss Marie? <clears throat> Well, that, that's often the, the way you see the biggest jumps happen, right? Especially when you found a good company, a good opportunity uh, that's got that potential for life-changing income. That, that can happen. And that, that's typically the big overnight, more so than somebody who you've brought in um, going out and individually recruiting and they're on right. some like crazy lucky streak, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And so because of Miss Marie's experience, she knows what to look for. Okay. Another thing she's going to be looking for, if this is a new company and it's pre-launch and everybody's signing up uh, and, and they can't buy any product yet and the company finally opens the door, Miss Marie, you'll have a 9,000 point explosion overnight because everybody went and bought a product or a starter kit. Okay. Uh, that guys is self-explanatory. That is nothing to panic over. In, in that situation, you just do the five simple steps from that point on. You just do your 90-day mini blast because now it's official. Company's open. Uh, everybody's legal, if you will. In other words, everybody has an ID number, is now a part of the company, and you start the business building activity, even though you made 9,000 group volume overnight. That's because everybody bought a starter kit uh, in your organization. And you've been building your organization um, for the past three to five months before the official opening of the doors. They call it pre-launch, okay? And they let people build during that pre-launch, right, Miss Marie? Mm-hmm. And so people place orders uh, instantaneously, okay? And you can have a tremendous explosion. <clears throat> and once again, Miss Marie's experience and knowledge, 
she would look for that, but she, she would know that from the get go. She'd be like, "Ah, right, that's pre lunch stuff." Okay, and then what'll happen is it'll, it'll skyrocket, and then it'll go because <laughs> everybody's got a starter kit. Now everybody's starting the ninety day mini blast, and the learning curve starts. Blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, the, the other thing is, is that uh, the company comes out with a new product, uh, a product that cures everything. Okay, and it's been advertised, and they've been saying for six months that on uh, August first, uh, twenty twenty one, we're gonna uh, make this product available. So what's everybody doing? Everybody on uh, July 31st, they're sitting at their computer, finger on the mouse, and they're ready to order, right, Miss Marie? <laughs> and it, it's that anticipation for the past month. <clears throat> everybody's been talking about it. Everybody's been breathing it. Everybody's been thinking it, sleeping it. And so now that everybody, you got probably thousands of people across the globe sitting there ready to order this uh, product that cures everything. And it's also the fountain of youth. So everybody wants it. And there again, you'll have an explosion overnight, right, Miss Marie? Yep. Uh, new products are oftentimes a big uh, explosive growth just because everybody's excited to try it, at least for the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, some people are going to add to their orders. Some of that will continue because people will like the products. But again, you know, we're always looking for all of your business builders to be at that 100 PV level or whatever that that floor is to get you to the 10,000 group volume that we're after. And if they've already been at 100 PV and they're adding a new product, that gives you quite a bump. But not everybody may be able to maintain that from a financial perspective. So they may do some order shifting and in, in subsequent months, it may kind of dial back a little bit more. That's right. That's right. Also, um, company going into another country, you'll see an explosion overnight with that as well. Company's been telling you for the last two months, we're going into, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Thailand and, uh, and the company uh, has allowed you to uh, pre-build, if you will. In other words, you can go into Thailand and you can get people starter kits, but you can't order any product, okay? And the people, the starter kits allow the people to get an ID number, right, Miss Marie? Mm -hmm. So people are lining up. And then once again, on the 1st of August, 2021, when the company officially opens in Thailand, orders just rush through. And if you've, if you've already built a business in North America, in other words, Mexico, Canada, United States, whatever the case may be, and you got a pretty nice thing going, you could have a virtual explosion overnight when Thailand opens up, right, Miss Marie? Because you sponsor people that sponsor people in Thailand, and they're waiting for that official launch, uh, opening up that com a country. So it's a great thing. If you were the new company, guys, think about it. You have a new company, and if, if and I've been a part of pre-launch, I don't know if you have, Miss Marie. <clears throat> That's a lot of fun. <clears throat> You're building up the momentum, the excitement. Everybody's almost ready to burst. They can't wait. And then when it happens, you have this huge explosion. And then when that's over, you start your 90 day mini blast. And guess what, Miss Marie, when they start expanding in other countries, guess what? You get the pre-launch thing all over again. And so you have this boom, 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 boom. You can have this huge explosion multiple times. You know, if they're going to go into 30 countries and out of those 30, typically 10 of them are going to be really explosive. Uh, guess what? <laughs> you could have experienced that pre-launch explosion volume explosion uh, 10 to 11 times. And that is absolutely phenomenal. What a great experience that is. So that's another reason why uh, professional business builders love new companies, right, Ms. Marie? Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's all about that growth momentum, right? That's yeah. that, that huge potential for growth, especially when you're, you're first introducing new product, when you're first going into new companies, that's where you get that you know, right. rock, rocket ship mm -hmm. taken off. That's right. So, okay, so that is evaluating your business. And you said, well, Rob, that was a lot of scenarios. Well, it was, and what I'm saying is, is that if you have any or all of those things taking place, and with your, if you were the new company, there's a great chance you could have a lot of what we just discussed going on. And you have to have somebody that can sit back and evaluate, as we talked about in previous episodes, uh, that kind of activity. Because once again, if you were to hire Miss Marie and I, we would ask for, uh, instant access, either with you on a uh, Zoom call and you allowing us to go into your back office with you present, 
uh, we would have you sign a document to make sure that you understand everything's legal because, <laughs> you, know, you know, that is your private information. But the point is, is that we would look at it with your uh, approval and we would that we know that back office is going to tell us a story. We're looking for certain key things in there so that we can get a firm understanding of where your business is and where that volume explosion happened and why. OK, and we would be able to tell you uh, how stable your business is, because Miss Marie, just because you have a volume explosion, if you're doing a pre-launch for a new company and the company opens its door July 1st and you have this overnight explosion of nine or ten thousand group volume, it'll die out as quick as it came in because everybody ordered a month's worth of product. Now it's time to put your feet to the ground, meaning it's time to do your 90 day mini blast. OK, so that is not only evaluating your business, but now you got to elevate your business building activity. OK, because you did the pre-launch, which is totally different. I guess we ought to do a show on pre-launch, don't you think? Uh, it's probably a good idea. Yeah, because we never talked about that. And here we are bringing it up. People are like, what is he talking about? How is that different? <clears throat> yeah. And, and not only for new companies, Miss Marie, but for overseas as well. Uh, I guess we'll do one on one episode and second one on a different day. What do you think? I like it. Monday and Tuesday, in other words. Uh, so anyway, uh, what happens is, guys, is that uh, that volume will die out as quick as it is it came. Now you say, well, 9,000, 10,000 group volume overnight. Uh, well, that's awesome. It is because that's going to last you for 30 days. If it uh, happened on July 1st, guess what? You've got until July 31st to do your, part of your 90 day mini blast, allowing you to start laying the foundation to where you won't go from 10,000 group volume to zero <laughs> in the month of July, in August. OK, so you're going to be able to put together a 90 day mini blast and be able to find people that will start the 90 day mini blast with you. And they're not even aware that there was ever a pre-launch because they weren't a part of it. They weren't around when the pre-launch happened. So don't bring it up. OK, just leave it as it is. And what are you doing now? You're doing a normal 90 day mini blast. And your goal is to put together a team as quickly as you can. But here's the thing. The people that you brought in in the, uh, the uh, uh, pre-launch, guess what? That is a premature 90-day mini blast. And that can cause all kinds of issues because, believe it or not, you're doing two phase ones back to back. And, Miss Marie, I think we ought to do that that week, too. Uh, the fact that you're doing a premature 90-day mini blast because that can cause real issues. Okay? And just because you did a pre-launch, it does not qualify as a 90 day mini blast because sometimes the pre launches are six months, four months. I've been a part of one that was six months or eight months. I can't remember. And you talk about longevity. Oh my gosh, long legs. Miss Marie, that wore my butt out. I'm telling you, that was, I did not like that. Maintaining that in intensity for eight months, you know, you, you brought people in month one and by month six, they're like, hey, when's this thing going to happen? That is yeah. tough. <clears throat> so we'll talk about that another time. But anyway, um, the people that you, you basically you're doing uh, two 90 day mini blasts back to back. I'm going to tell you something. Doing two mini blasts in a year is tough. Doing them back to back is amazingly hard. You say, well, why? Here's where you got to elevate your activity. Because the people that you brought in uh, during the pre-launch, uh, guess what? They had this same explosion that you did in volume. They got excited. They Chances are they got a pretty decent check. They're excited. They want to maintain that too. So what are they going to do? They're going to put a demand on you to work with them, either in a local event, a Zoom call, a conference call, whatever the case may be. And now you're trying to do a 90 day mini blast on top of that. Miss Murray, that's tough. You're going to have to step up your game big time, guys. Doing a pre-launch is, oh, it is intense. OK, and you're really going to have to get proficient at time management and organizational skills. And we did episodes on that. You need to go back and, and listen to them because they are imperative to your success in this scenario. You are not going to be able to survive if you do not have your act together in this situation. And that 90, that uh, pre-launch activity and all that volume is created could be lost if you do not handle this uh, scenario correctly. Uh, thus, the importance of doing an evaluation with somebody that has knowledge and experience. Okay. Right, Miss Marie? Mm hmm. Yep. That that experience definitely helps. And it's not that easy to come by either. There aren't a ton of people that have gone through pre-launches no, like that. No. And and to do a 90 day mini blast right behind it, even if they've gone through a pre-launch, 
uh, they may not have done a 90 day mini blast. <clears throat> um, so, so what you have to do guys, you have to really put, once again, what we did and we talked about in the previous episode, I think yesterday, Miss Marie, we talked about how a back office can tell you a story, right? Mm-hmm. In the pre-launch, just like in yesterday's uh, story, uh, pre-launch will tell you where the volume is coming from. Typically, once again, 90, 95% of your volume is going to come from three to five people, maybe seven or eight, based on how many people you sponsor during the pre-launch. Okay. Now, it's easy to sponsor people during the pre-launch because you're telling people, hey, let's get in now. Here's what's happening. And believe me, the excitement gets up and people buy things on motion. It is really easy to recruit during a pre-launch environment. Okay. It's much harder to recruit in a normal environment where you're doing a 90-day mini blast because the company's already existed. Okay, and that pre-launch is gone and all that excitement. Now it's about the future. It's not about the pre-launch. All right, so uh, the thing is, is that you have to realize that you're dealing with a totally different type of people, a mindset from the pre-launch than you are with the 90 Day Mini Blast, which there's a distinct difference between the two as far as the mindset. The activity is the same. So when you have people in your pre-launch contacting you saying, hey, I want to maintain this momentum. I got some crazy stuff going on here. What do I do? I need your help. I need your guidance. Guys, this is where you've got to step up your game. You think it was hard doing a 90 day mini blast doing this. And it's not to scare you, but you have to know the truth. The bottom line is you're really going to have to ask for your family, your spouse, your significant other, whatever the case may be, for a lot of leeway during this time and a lot of understanding because there's going to be a lot of activity on your part where you're going to have to take it up and combine. Miss Marie, what you do is you combine your pre-launch, your three to five people, either seven, eight people, whatever, that are creating uh, 90, 95% of that volume. And Miss Marie, you almost merge them into that 90 day mini blast. Because if you try to do them separate, you're gonna drive yourself nuts. Okay, you just say, when you say, well, Rob, what do you mean? When you uh, are doing your 90 day mini blast and you have a local event, you make sure those people from the pre-launch are there. Okay, you make sure you notify them Okay, they are your number one priority. Why? Because they already have a head start. Why would you forget somebody that's got a head start on the 90 day mini blast people? You wouldn't do that. Okay, because you have a real chance to do something really special here if you handle it right. So, what you do is you merge them in. You never really bring up the word pre launch. Okay, you let them talk. And if they, if the person that was a part of the pre launch tells the 90 day mini blast people, oh, yeah, I was, I, you know, Rob sponsored me or Marie sponsored me. Uh, before the company even opened its doors. <clears throat> You're not going to need a mini bus. People are like, what does that mean? How, what, what do you mean? How did that happen? Okay, they're not going to be upset. They're not going to be jealous <clears throat> because they don't even know it existed. Okay, and then, and they'll get that, hey, it was Tommy. Marie didn't even know the person, um, the 90-day mini blast person um, during the pre-launch. She met them during her 90-day mini blast. She was having leads coming in. And she made a call in during the 90 day mini blast that she was doing. So she didn't even know these people during the pre launch, right, Miss Marie? Did I make that clear? Yep. So Miss Marie doesn't worry about it. She lets them talk. And if they come up and say, hey, what's this pre launch thing? How come I wasn't told about well, Because I didn't meet you until July 28th, <laughs> you know, during my mini blast. You, I didn't even know you in June, <laughs> right, Miss Marie? Or May or June. So, what do you mean? <laughs> it's just part of the activity. I just happened uh, to meet them during that time. And uh, and you just leave it at that, okay? Because a pre-launch is a pre-launch, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. It's in the past. It's done. It's over. And it's time to move on. Now, the thing is, is you can say, well, look, just because they were part of the pre-launch, look where they are today. They're here during, guess what? The 90-day mini blast uh, business building portion. So even though they came in early, they're still a part of this activity, meaning that you're both on the same page. So let's let's go. Let's, then let's not split hairs here. Let's get our butts in gear. So you say, okay, Rob, you do the three to five people in the pre-launch, seven, maybe seven or eight. <clears throat> what do you do with the rest of the people? Well, of course, you're going to work with those that are creating, you know, 300 PV, 500 PV. Uh, you let Miss Marie, as we have said, you what? You let a five be a five, right? Mm-hmm. You do the same thing. With the pre-launch that you do with a uh, 90-day mini buys, you say, "Well, what does that mean, Rob?" Some people are happy at 300 PV a month. Don't try to turn them into a thousand PV per month person. 
right, Miss Marie? We talked about that. What you do is you contact them and find out where they want to be. And if they're happy where they are, Miss Marie, what does that do? You, we celebrate and proud it because that allows us to focus on the three or five people that came out of the pre-launch, right? We yeah, and we've we've done episodes too talking about the fact that leaders will self-identify. They'll that's right. they'll raise their hand, it'll show up in your back office based on the activity and their engagement with what you have going on that that they're truly taking the business seriously and those are the folks you really want to focus on. Right. And you let the fives be the fives, you let the sixes be the sixes, you let the sevens be the sevens. And that's critically important for your mental health. And okay, and you say why? Because you're not trying to make a five, six, and seven into an eight, nine, and ten. Okay, you can't do it. It's not possible. You're not superhuman and you can't do it. So when you recognize that a five is a five and you focus on what? The eights, nines, and tens, which is your three to five people that came out of the pre-launch, <clears throat> not only are you focusing on the right people and working with the right people, you're allowing the other people to be what they are, and it allows you to calm down. It reduces your stress level. You don't worry about those people because why? You're doing the right things. These are the right steps to take. You know in your mind, these are the right steps. Rob and Marie said, this is what I'm supposed to do. So I'm not going to worry about those people. I'm not going to get stressed out on those people. I'm not going to try to turn a five into a 10. I'm going to focus on the people that are seven, eights, and nines right now. Right, Miss Marie? Mm -hmm. I'm going to combine them with my people that are coming out of my 90-day mini blast, and I'm going to ride with that. Guys, as long as you merge those two together, you are going to be all right. You're not going to be stressed out. You're going to have to elevate your game because you've got a group of people from the pre-launch that actually is making your 90-day mini blast group bigger than most people would ever have that only um, that were never a part of the pre-launch. In other words, they have to come into this new company after it opened its doors and they're starting their own 90-day mini blast and not even aware uh, a pre-launch existed, and they have no a residual um, coming from that pre-launch. So they just focus on their own 90-day mini blast. Well, you are carrying over that momentum, okay? And that can be stressful, but you're doing it the right way, combining the, the 90-day mini blast with your pre-launch people, and now you're doing your own 90-day mini blast in the way you're supposed to, and your stress level is low because you know you did everything right. But you're elevating your activity and you're saying, Rob, why do you say that? Because the people that came from the pre-launch are ahead of the people in the 90-day the mini blast, meaning that you're going to be doing local events sooner. You're going to be doing a Zoom uh, events sooner. And you're going to move right into the people who are just now starting to take off from your 90-day mini blast. Does that make sense, Miss Marie? Absolutely, yes. Okay. So your activity is going to step up big time, okay, because you have a totally different scenario here and you realize, oh, my gosh, I'm going to lose this momentum if I don't step up right now. And so that is going to be a longer time of intense business building activity and focus on your part, okay? And you're going to do your 90-day mini blast just like you would any other time. If it takes 120 days, you know, so be it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you you got to reach your goals. It's no different than any other 90-day uh, mini blast. It's just that you're carrying a lot of extra people with you in volume as you go. Right, Miss Marie? I like it. Yep. <laughs> okay. And that is where evaluating and elevating your activity <clears throat> in a situation like that. And this also applies to when you are going into other countries. And we'll talk about that. We wrote it down. Miss Marie, we did. Did we not? We did. We'll talk about that in detail because each one of those are uniquely different. They're almost like another 90 day mini blast. Uh, and especially if they're a big market, right, Miss Marie? Like mm -hmm. if you're going into Japan, you better be on your game. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, you better be on it because you're going to lose that market very quickly because it, it's competitive at the top, isn't it, Miss Marie? <clears throat> it is. Yeah. It is because there's a lot of the top 10 people that are going to be uh, button heads with you to get into Japan before you do. Okay. And they're going to be sponsoring people left to right. They're going to say, I ain't sponsoring nobody outside of Japan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be the number one guy in Japan and I'm going to go in there and I'm going to sponsor nothing but Japanese people. All right. And then, uh, so there's other people say, well, you know what? There's got to be somebody here in America that knows somebody in Japan. That's kind of the long way around, but it works too, doesn't it, Miss Marie? As many, many times. 
Well, exactly. And that's, again, part of the network marketing. Leverage the network within there your you business. <laughs> Who do you know? Who do you know? <laughs> I tried. So, uh, but that's a totally different thing, but it's a continuation. When you're with a new company, you got to realize if they have a pre-launch, that's totally different than when the doors open. When the doors open, you do 180, uh, I don't know why I keep saying that, a 90-day mini blast, okay? And during that 90-day mini blast, if they say, hey, we're going to go into Russia, which is bull crap, don't, <laughs> that never happens, but I'm just picking a different country. If we're going to go into Russia, you're like, oh crap, I'm doing a 90-day mini blast. Now I got to start looking for people in Russia. The Russians or, or contact people in Russia. All right. And uh, yes, there is network marketing in Russia. I'm just kidding. So anyway, the point is, is that uh, you have a situation where uh, you will be almost doing a 90 day mini blast within a 90 day mini blast. And we'll talk about that in the future. You'd be like, well, what are you talking about? Because when the country opens, once again, you got to elevate your activity. You got to elevate your game. Don't you, Miss Marie? Because mm -hmm. it's almost like a 90 day mini blast all over again. A mini blast within a mini blast. But the good thing is, Miss Marie, you leverage yourself when you go into a new country by finding a leader in that country and you work with that leader. Like if Miss Marie was in Russia and I, I would I would learn uh, Russia overnight and we'd speak Russian and I would tell her, hey, let's do Zoom calls. And you get on, you know, because a Zoom call can hold a thousand people. I tell her, get as many of, of people as you can on there. I don't care if it's 300, 400. Well, you know, Russia's open enough one August. We got to work our tail ends off between now and August. And then what I do when I get off the phone with her, I continue my traditional 90 day mini blast that is covering North America. Right, Miss Marie? Yeah. Well, and, and the other thing that's nice is you can do that because you've got the multiple time zones to work with. That's when right. You're talking about other countries. So. And technology. Used to yeah. be when you and I were doing it, it was on the phone. That was right. Pain in the ass. Oh, my gosh. You guys don't have any idea what stress is about. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> man, it was crazy. We, I used to have to hire interpreters. You know that? Mm, yeah, I did. So, yeah, I, I remember when I had 15 page phone bills. So, oh gosh, yes. Oh, <laughs> I still have those things. I, I should pull them out one day. <laughs> I do. I still have them. It's part of my tax uh, packages. Then I got to mm -hmm. get rid of. Anyway, um, that's about it. Did I miss anything, Miss Marie? I think we're done. No, I think we covered that pretty well. Yeah. So don't let that scare you guys. I mean, look, you you want the success. It's going to come, and sometimes it comes in waves, and it can be overwhelming. And you got to have somebody as we close that it can evaluate it correctly. And once again, every back office tells a story. You got to have somebody that's smart and, and knows the back office, how to read it and sit down, evaluate your business and say, OK, here's what you got to do next. This is where you are. This is how close you are to this, uh, because when you do a pre-launch and you follow up with 180 day mini, why do I keep saying that? I know. About that. <laughs> a 90, <laughs> 90 day mini bus. And then they go into a new country. Guys, it can be overwhelming. But here's the thing. You can catch momentum much quicker and you can get into that drinking out of the coconut money much much faster okay uh so it can be overwhelming just be willing to pay the price i'm telling you once you get through it you'll be like uh, i am so grateful i did that because it could be a once in a lifetime opportunity it's like winning the lottery isn't it miss marie it can be crazy stupid money okay yeah. and it happened what we're talking about is not unusual is it miss marie not unusual at all if there are plenty of stories out there that's right and you've been a product pre-launch how many pre-launches you've been a product I've probably uh, been one or two. Yeah, I, I've been part of three, I believe. <clears throat> so, and it is crazy. I mean, it is flipping. I made stupid money during <laughs> pre launch. And the thing is, I didn't get paid until they actually opened the doors. Do you know that? Mm hmm. Yep. Now, boy, was that a big check. Woohoo. All right, guys, that's it. With that being said, I'm going to, we're going to hop off of here. Um, Ms. Marie, did you notice that uh, we have not had any internet issues? <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> you know why? Why? I figured it out. You did? I did. I figured it out. Well, good. Yep. <clears throat> and I made the correction, and I've not had any issues whatsoever. Awesome. Yep. It was me. It was on. It was us. <laughs> it wasn't them. All right, guys. We're going to hop off here uh, tomorrow. 
Miss Marie, we have a good one. Business builders or customers. I know we talked about this before, guys. You know, you probably get tired of hearing it, but this, look, we talked about it. We did not do a show about it. Okay. And it, it deserves its own uh, show because this is very important, especially what we're talking about today. Miss Marie, you know the importance of it. You got to focus on the right people. And, you know, we say, let a five be a five. We're going to tell you in advance a little bit. Let a customer be a customer. We'll tell you why tomorrow. We're going to tell you why you want to focus on finding business builders and how hard it is to find business builders, right, Miss Marie? They're not, they're, they're made more times than not. Every once in a while, you'll find one that's natural. But for the most part, uh, it's training that makes them. Is that not correct? I, I would agree with that, yep. So with that being said, guys, we're going to hop off of here. You guys be careful, be safe. We'll see you tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on our Facebook page or YouTube channel. And uh, as always, please share our uh, website, platforms, everything else with our fellow network marketers. You help us with the algorithm when you do. All right. With that being said, God bless. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for listening to today's podcast. Download our podcast on SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, and other podcast platforms. Visit our website at www.themlmsolution.net for additional important information, show details, and past shows. Follow us on Parler, Rumble, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button, or the get notified button while visiting our other social media platforms.